I've been smoking a pipe for about a couple of months now. Um, my wife turned me on to it. My history with tobacco is I was never a smoker um, as a kid, but but a little bit cigars, and then, and then when I lived in Germany for a couple of years, um, I pretty much smoked Cuban tobacco every single day, cigarillos and, and um, you know, just good, smaller, like, cigars, Coronas. But why I love pipe tobacco and why I love smoking pipe, this is my favorite pipe it's a, a clay pamplin bowl this is reminiscent of what the um you know the first uh the first part of the tobacco age where people were probably smoking for the first few hundred years in in the clay pipes and why i like the the clay with the reed stem is it's a little bit more resilient than just a straight up clay pipe although i love those too but i find that um with with uh, smoking a pipe, you're able to really sample the tobaccos of the world as opposed to just that one note um, that you get with Cuban tobacco, which is gorgeous. It's a lovely note, but it's it's not, um, you know, the, the pipe smoking has really opened up my whole world to the tobaccos of the earth. And, um, you know... I have to also say that if you haven't tried Semwa tobacco, um, you really need to. Not only is it absolutely delicious, and it's really nice with uh, full Virginia Flake, half and half, but it's uh, the, 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 when someone takes the time and the love and the effort to make an artisanal tobacco like that, um, the, the buzz, the, the, the warmness of the nicotine um, the way it delivers and the way it hits you is also exceptional. Um, so I, I noticed that immediately. Um, so, yeah, I'm just kind of getting into... I, I buy lots of different tobacco just to kind of find out what I like and, uh, you know, what, what sort of... What's what. Uh, I also have a bunch of whole leaves coming to do my own cutting and blending um, and I'm eventually going to start growing my own tobacco just so I can make sure that it's 100% organic and see how that goes um, but um, I will say that um, Sangawaith is really some exceptional shit and um, I, I also would say that uh, yeah, Semwa is exceptional and I'm, I'm very obsessed at the moment with trying to blend a blend that's like a cigarette. I don't know. I, I just, it, it, it's for the summertime, for the weather. I just want that lemony cocoa, you know, a higher, <coughs> high quality version of a Marlboro. Because a Marlboro is this kind of chemical laden shit. I figure that the taste and what it was really trying to be could be perfected with, you know, the, the high quality pipe tobaccos and it can be an entirely different, um, experience. So right now I'm, I'm very much trying to, um, come up with the perfect cigarette blend and, and no one's made one, or at least not to my knowledge. I mean, it's basically a Burley and a, and a, and a lemon Virginia and an Oriental. And so I'm just kind of playing with the different, uh, you know, the different sort of ratios of those three, um, you know, of those three leaves and the different, I mean, there's so many different variables with, within those three leaves. So, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm on a mission right now to, to blend a perfect kind of summertime, uh, citrusy cigarette blend. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of novel, but it also, it's really satisfying. So I have a couple mixtures that I'm pleased with.